Hey Internet, today's topic is how can homeless people help themselves? It begins with a choice, a choice to help yourself, a choice to help others only if they want help. This guide assumes you can read and write English because this is New Zealand based. If you can't, then follow step 1.1. Step 1.1, learn to read and write either by adult learning ESOL or by going to the library and ask them or someone else to teach you English. Have a plan, decide to be free from substances, substance abuse and be sober. Easy to say, hard to do. Move to a safe place where there's no temptation, seek help, city mission, citizens advice bureau, work and income. They may be able to help. Identification, documentation, this is the hardest hurdle. Bank account requires proof of ID and address, work and income, proof of ID, bank account, IRD number, getting proof of address, places to live, friends and friends place, Salvation Army, city mission, local religious worship, Work and income. Work and income is last because they need the stuff from the previous slide and they usually don't want to help if you don't have those. Birth certificate, getting in person, website below for their office. It costs $33 minimum, prices may vary. Getting money to pay for it, offered to work for a day or a few hours in exchange for them paying you for your documents, friends, family and churches, all organizations that help people. Try them first, ask them that you can change, that you can work and exchange for a bit of money. Uh, some organizations might have a grant. Begging is the last resort. Might take days or weeks just to get $33. Getting identification. Naming might help in getting a birth certificate depending on the situation. Naming .nz slash homeless. 18 plus card kiwiaccess.co.nz post shop physical place cost $55 again same method of getting money um, as before okay keep the letter that the birth certificate office sent you this counts as a government letter and counts as a valid proof of address bank account ID section, the ones in bold, so birth certificate and 18 plus card, that's what you need. Bank account address section, central government agency or local government letter, so that is your birth certificate letter when they send it to you. IRD number, again birth certificate, 18 plus card. Work and income. Despite the stigma of, of a handout, you need money to survive until you find a job. Walk into your nearest work and income center, explain your situation, and politely ask for the job seeker benefit and social housing forms. They'll help you out, they'll get you sorted. They say it's 116 days waiting time for your social house but people spend waiting for 16 years according to their own statistics so that's why I put them low on the list for everything because they're just understaffed and under resourced to do list before you find a job be technology literate so with the benefit save up money for a smartphone and credit 
with being technology literate make a so you should learn how to make an email account ask the librarian or citizens advice bureau or use the internet and Google to search it from your smartphone use the smartphone take photos of your documents then send it to your email because it was hard enough getting it the first time optional save up again apply for a passport even if you're not traveling it's helpful as a third type of ID again once you have it take a photo and upload it to email so just in case you lose the physical copies at least you don't have to start over that's why you're taking photos and emailing in the first place buy a public transport card you'll be using public transport until you get a job and pay for a driver's license and buy a car at the same time or when you have the money of course learn to write a CV Google search free CV templates and our, or our citizens advice bureau learn how to write a good CV save up by a dress shirt dress pants and black shoes for job interviews regardless what type of job you're applying for so once you have a CV apply everywhere enlist in the military if that's what you want to do apply for apprenticeships building plumbing electricians machining automotive and so on before well before you get a job while you're waiting sleep well eight hours a day eat right fruits and vegetables with meats and fish sometimes I know it's difficult with the benefit to afford food sometimes so I know it's a bit of a struggle it's like the bare minimum so you don't die it's not very luxurious um, exercise 30 minutes of moderate activity a day just stay in shape you know okay thanks for watching hope you had a great day be sure to subscribe like turn on all notifications so ring the bell as well share with your friends but more importantly share with like homeless people that want help I think this video will definitely help them also leave a comment until next time see ya